Frost Death Knight is one of the best decks after the latest patch came out, and it's definitely very easy to hit Legend with it if you know how to play it. We had a 3 hour coaching session, and we started from Diamond 4 and reached Legend with only 2 losses. And the games were not very easy, but we definitely pushed the deck to its max. So in this video I will give you a quick guide about the deck, show you its mulligans, as well as some of the matchups we had on the way. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget you can also hire me for some Hearthstone coaching. Now let's check out the deck. As I said, Frosty K is definitely tier 1 right now, and you can actually see it's the best performer ever since the patch came out from Diamond to Legend, with several variations of the deck. The one I usually go for is this one, which has the biggest sample size as well, with a very respectable win rate as well. But you can definitely include things like Hardcore Cultist, especially if you're seeing too much board-centric matchups like Pure Pallies and Fatigue Warlocks. No need to go over the entire deck, because we already know what it consists of mainly, but it's worth to mention that we are running two Mites of Menefield, which are extremely powerful, and the way you use these can really make or break your games. Being able to freeze the opponent board over and over again is extremely powerful, and with this weapon you might even prefer using this instead of your 7 mana Frostburn Fury, if it's gonna be enough to actually freeze the entire board. Not only are you gonna be able to freeze the opponent for longer, but this is also more damage across two turns because you equip this, attack for four, and next turn attack for four more, which is eight in total. Whereas with Frost from Fury, it's usually just five to the face, and they deal with the five five anyway. But it's also important you want to be using this when the board is not that big, so two or three minions, or even four, and you just freeze a bunch of them like that. And that way you save your big Frost from Fury for when the opponent really tries to pop off. We also have a couple of Rowdy fans which are still extremely good in order for you to chip down the opponent in the early game, but it's also a lot of damage in the late game as well, if you need it on a hero power. Pazic is also extremely powerful, and this is arguably the best deck to be using Pazic in, because you're just so efficient if they actually decide to be playing those free frees instead of just ignoring this. The reason why Pazic is so good in here is because if they actually do play the free freeze, they're losing tons of tempo, but it's also a free mana free free that does nothing, and you can either just frost strike it, or just freeze it, or ignore it altogether. It's also worth mentioning you need to know how to manage your corpses properly with this one, so you can have bigger marrow manipulators, as well as enough for might of mana fuels if you need those. So in some cases, it's much better to actually just keep on hero powering, so you can generate even more corpses that way, especially if you already have a marrow manipulator in hand, and you know it's gonna be important to the matchup. And usually against control decks, marrow manipulator is key to winning those, especially against blood decays and control priests. It's also worth knowing what you should be expecting to get from Frost Strike, and you could be getting both of your weapons out of it, including the one that discounts spells, which is not really something you want. But you can also get plenty of card draw, so if you're fishing for some lethal outs, it might be worth checking this first. And you can also discover even extra copies of things like the Sarian or Frigidara, but don't forget that Frigidara actually needs to have Frost Spells in the deck in order to actually deal the two extra damage. So if you already have one in hand, discovering a second one might not be a great idea, because the deck only runs six Frost Spells and normally you actually pull them before you get to play at turn 7 Frigidara. And we also have one Harbinger of Winter in here, which also pulls a spell, so it's even easier for you to actually run out of Frost spells. But also, if you want to be including something else in the deck, the first thing to look at cutting would be your Harbinger of Winter. You're also discovering things through Nerubian Vizier, as well as your school teacher, and here it's worth mentioning, if you're actually looking for hard removal like Obliterate or Asphyxiate, going for a school teacher is usually the better way to go, because both of those are 2 mana and 3 mana, so the discover pool is a lot smaller, whereas with Vizier you can discover anything. But I guess here you could also discover something like Corpse Explosion, so it's worth figuring out if you need big AoE or just single target big removal. We also have the Bone Breaker in here, which is extremely powerful for you to be able to control the board while actually chipping face damage easily. But in some cases you just might want to be swinging to the face, especially if you're not expecting too much board presence from your opponent. But it's usually better to hold this off unless you already have another weapon lined up and you're thinking that you're probably equipping it in the near turns so plan accordingly. The game plan with this deck is simple, in the early turns you try to tempo out as much as you can, and you try to do some value trades so you can actually stick a board. Around the mid game on turn 4 or 5, depending if you have a marrow manipulator, you might want to be clearing the opponent's board, but if you don't, you might just start ignoring the opponent's board and just keep on freezing it over and over with your might of many fuels, which are usually enough to lead you to your Frostborn Furies. And in that case, it's usually game over. For the matchups, here's what the stats show for the last few days. But if we switch over to the last 30, we can see a lot more populated stuff, and things like Big Demon Hunter might be a problem, because they can go face despite it being frozen. But the rest is very green, so no wonder this deck is so good right now.
For the mulligan going first and second, you always want your good one drops. Skeletal sidekick is something I'd only keep if I already have an arms dealer or a foul egg, or if I'm playing against a paladin because it's important to ping down stuff early game. Weapon is also pretty nice, Harbinger of Winter is also a decent keep, and even Posic can make the cut, especially if you already have a 1-drop. True Fallen Baron is also not that bad going first, or you could even consider keeping a Vizier, especially if you already have a 1-drop. If you already have a good curve going, even the Sarian might make the cut, but usually you don't really want to keep anything else. Although if you do have an egg, you might consider the Rowdy fan as well. And when on the coin, the situation is similar, but as you can see, Cho Fallen Baron is not as amazing of a keep, and also Frost Strike becomes a bit more keepable here, because you are second on the board, so being reactive is not a bad thing. All around, that's it for the deck, it's not very expensive, and it's definitely super strong if you know how to play it. Now, let's check out some of the games from the coaching session. Hope you enjoy! Could be anything nowadays. I think Frost is the most uh, popular. And Holy is still at a close second, I think. What are you thinking? Um, my first thought is to just send back the Horn of Winter. Frost Strike is also something you're not normally keeping, especially when going first. Like, I think you never keep Frost Strike when you're going first, especially when you don't have a one drop. So I think you only keep Harbinger of Winter. Nice, much better. So yeah, you don't want to be keeping mediocre cards too much, because you want to give yourself the biggest amount of uh, chances of actually getting the good stuff. And now you did get a good one-drop weapon here, so you're going to be nice and flexible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, perfect Harbinger then. Still saving the weapon for sure. Especially since we're not having a second weapon to play. We already know he's not blood, so this weapon is going to be a lot more important than it used to be. Okay, perfect. Very, very nice situation for us. How do you want to play this out? You're definitely killing this. Um, see, I don't mind uh, trading with face, trading here and baroning. Baron is cool and all, but wouldn't it be better if the 2-2 two -two kills the 3-2 and we Vizier? Yes. I think that uh, not only gives you a better board state, but it also discovers your extra possible 0. So let's uh, let's do that. 2 into the 3-2. You actually get Horn of Winter, so we might even consider Horning something out. Yes, play the Vizier. That is a very nice Plague Strike. Should we use it right now? Should we be using it right now? I don't mind it. Yeah, but I think it's just better using the weapon to the 2-2 right now. This way, if he decides to tempo a 2-5 a chicken, we still don't know if he's uh, unholy or not. We're going to have a lot easier time dealing with it. Not that it's too hard right now, but still don't know. I think it's Frost. It's definitely Frost, so I think we should start tempoing the shit out of him. Turn free, he could be playing at the Sarian. We're not gonna be very happy touching it too much. Yeah, let's go with uh, Plague Strike onto the 2 2. I guess you should have started with 3 mana Chill Fallen Baron so you can see what the card draw is. So let's see the 3 mana Chill Fallen Baron. It's not that we spent mana or anything, but wait a minute, you're drawing a card, let's see what it is. Okay, it doesn't change anything. Skeletal onto the 2 4. And uh, right now you might consider actually swinging this weapon, because if you don't top deck something playable, next turn we're probably just might have mana feel. So, uh, yeah, I think you go face. Okay. He might play Pazic next turn against us, but we're actually ready to play both the bots, because we have two Horn of Winters. Right, right. So that'd be oh, fine. Yeah, okay, so cool feature. Cool. That's gonna be a nice freeze. He and still has the coin, so he might use it, and he is. Pick me, pick me! Lake strike. Cool, sure. Fine. Okay, that's a very nice Tessarian now, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's start with a Tessarian, see what happens.
we use a horn to trade with hero power into this? I'm actually considering trading the 2-2 two -two into the 1-1 one -one and then Horn of Winter, Might of Manifield. Double Horn into Might of Manifield. That sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah, 2-2 two -two trades the 1-1 one -one and double Horn into Might of Manifield and you go face. We're very far ahead right now and he is totally cockblocked by us. Next turn this uh, Marrow Manipulator should still be decently... Uh, fed because you only spent one corpse here and we have plenty of corpses on the boards and he definitely needs to kill him So we should have a jolly good time follow-up so. Oh yikes wow imagine realizing he's not even frost all this time Like that's weird. Okay, that's a very nice top deck however, so let's see what that discovers One of these right? Mm-hmm Two damage AoE sounds great, but it is four mana. It mm -hmm. is popping open the egg. It, it doesn't really give us too great of trades. No, I don't like it anymore. Do we like it? My it does deal phase damage. Yes. And it draws a card, I mean. Hmm. Okay, take the four mana, the rest are kind of garbage anyway. But uh, trade the 2-1 into a 1-3, see what the draw is. Okay, play the four mana, Reckless, uh, Remorseless Winter. If you... no, you don't have any more of those. The free free trades the 1-1 and the rest is face. And now he's in lethal range, even my, a Marrow Manipulator might snipe him through bodies at this point, but we can also top deck Frostborn Furies. Right. Okay, that's annoying. Let's think a little now. We can drop him down to 2 health right now if you arms dealer a hero power. You could also chill fall on Baron into Might of Menafiel. You could also draw the weapon. Hmm. In order for that to work, you have to start with chill fall on Baron first. So we can see the card draw. It getting the extra attack doesn't matter as much. The Citadel stands strong! That's cool for next turn. Arms dealer a hero power and next turn he's dead to Frigidara AoE. If he casts hero power graveyard, that's one off lethal, isn't it? If he has arms dealer hero power graveyard right now, we could have been dead, but we're not. Cool. GG. That was, that was decent indeed. A lot of choices mattered here. Let's just kill him with Frigidara. Weapon also kills him, but might as well kill him with the one we already mm -hmm. had. Yeah. We do what the living okay, that was a clutch game. It was a very weird way to set it up for this turn because we were... Like, last turn we could have dropped him even lower, like we could have dropped him to one health. Right. But we also wanted to save Glacial Advance in hand so we actually don't have to be attacking face so you play around the random 8 armor game. I'm thinking we send all this back. Yeah, none of this works for us. Sick top deck. Well, we looked for it. Yikes. Fuck is this even? Egg off the top for favor at least. Oh god. I see you. Well, this hand is... yeah, sure, okay, we're gonna be top decking what we just threw away. That's how we're gonna have it, huh? I guess so. I think the game is trying to tell us we shouldn't have won last game. Just trying to communicate with us. No, we shouldn't have won last game. Hey, go get him, Worry. Blood DK is very strong as well right now. As we're about to witness. Blood DK, I think, is the only negative matchup for us right now, according to stats. Oh, that helps. Let's whip that out then. In order for this matchup to be winnable, we definitely need to get a very good Marrow Manipulator. 
Yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah, I, I find this matchup pretty tough. Yeah, it is. He's trading. He's probably setting up an asphyxiate or something. Bozik helps. But, uh, yeah, Rowdy found him. Smack him in the mouth area. Well, if he has to take six here, we're more than happy to oblige. Yeah, I'm happy to let him do that. A 68 would have been worse for us. Um, Seems like Pazic. Maybe. I'm down to Pazic, sure. Pazic in the face. Hey, you. Me for me. Still has the coin. Doesn't have too much corpses, which is nice. Next turn, this school teacher is gonna have to find a way for us to kill My his blood, uh, lifesteal dude soon. Yep. Mm. <laughs> okay. okay, that's fine. He's not gonna swing. Hmm. Do we do that? I think I like the Might of Men if you're here. It's not freezing everything, but it's a lot of damage. Death. We're not gonna get a good Marrow Manipula uh, Might of Marrow Manipulator anytime soon anyway, so yeah, just go face. Nice freeze, by the way. Yep. We won that freeze there. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying to set up a good Blood Boil for us, so it's very nice that we did not play the school teacher there, but instead went for. Super happy face time. You are not prepared. Yeah, because the blood boil is not too bad. I'm blind. Exactly. That's you gotta play around the blood boil and the corpse explosion decently well in order to maximize your odds here. Thank you for the follow, Reign of Chaos. Okay, he ain't doing much. There's another body oh, box. Didn't even double up either. It's fine. He didn't have corpses to double up either anyway. Mm -hmm. Teacher? Yeah, let's check the teacher here. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? This is shit. This is shit because this asphyxiate doesn't even guarantee killing the one we want. Right. It's pretty bad. God damn it, if he didn't have Empiric Blood, he was literally dead right now. Yep. Take Asphyxiate for a potential no Muncher soon, but I don't think you're playing it right now. Should we even give him the egg? If it's really a Blood Bowl, we're not gonna be very happy, but yeah, fine. Put it on the board and go face with everything, I'd say. Next turn, we're probably using the 7 mana to the face. Yeah, cat woke up, stretched, and went to bed again, as one does. Yep. Classic cat action. That's what I would do if I was a cat as well. Of course. First the muncher. You have the option too, you always go like that. Okay, he's gonna open the egg, is he? Maybe. Nope. Yeah. Sad. So. I guess you go with Noggling. Yeah, Noggling. Pick me, pick me. The one five trades into the free free first, so uh, you don't have to soak twice the damage for Marrow Manipulator. And now you play Manipulator, and this is one extra damage for us like that. Because if you didn't do it this way, you ran the risk of attacking for two damage into it instead of I'm missing your one. damage. Mm -hmm. The more you struggle, the better. Okay. 
Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, I think it's Might of Mana Fuel plus the Sarian. So for Sarian first, or I doesn't, think so. it doesn't It matter. doesn't really matter in this particular case, but that's what we do. Everything face. Nice. Okay, so we have 9 from hand next turn, so let's see it. Let us witness. We actually have 10 from hand with hero power too. Yep. Enter board. I don't know. Sticky board on the way as well. Fuck. Still not. Oh, come on, man. Like. Stop yeah, having every fucking bullshit card, dude. Okay, at least Frostrum gets to clean it easily, but it's not amazing. We could try School Teacher instead, see what that do. But, uh, is it worth the risk? I think, I don't know. You know like it is risky, it is risky, but... I mean, we can do that and draw in hero power, but... It's really risky. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. Seven into it, and uh, hero power face everything. He actually discovered that no muncher, too. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh yeah, but he matures. God damn it, man. This guy healed for so much. He literally healed for 30 so far. Gained 20, healed twice with no muncher. He even mm -hmm. healed with that free free asshole. Wow, imagine running weapon destruction. The more you strap out, the better. Hey, congrats, Warren. So, final boss, let's go. Control Priest is actually pretty hard for Blood DK, too. Let's play the Baron first, because if you top deck 7 mana Frostborn Fury, we are playing it. Don't, but that's a lot of damage. How much damage is that? 6, 7, 9, so we're 4 off. Let's check the school teacher. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Okay. I'm thinking ice cut, so this doesn't heal. He's healing for free. Whereas advance is dealing four. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's um, say. We're super light on this board. Fine, take the icy touch, sure. But uh yeah, use it on the three six and uh bone breaker face everything. Problem is right now Blood Bowl is gonna fuck us up entirely. Yeah. That's why this Going off the top one, one is not amazing. That okay. looks like a blood bow to me. Oh, it's not. Okay. Nice. Crap. Four off. This vizier could be it. Check the vizier. Remorseless win. Wait, Army of the Dead does what exactly? Puts him out of range if he blood boils. Army of the Dead is lethal. Is it? You kill the 2 6, it's free mana, and you hero power skeletal sidekick for exactly 6 because we have one on the board. Yep. The rushers kill the taunt, and you hero power skeletal sidekick onto the hero power face everything. G fucking G. Hero power. There you go. Nice. What a game. What a gamer. We got him. We got there. And yeah. 
See how easy it is to win against Blood DK? It's so fucking easy. <laughs> I literally have easy. to squeeze every fucking ounce of steam out of this fucking deck. Like, imagine. People still complain about this matchup. It's so fucking easy. He said, well, he wipes the blood, sweat, and tears from his eyes. Piece of cake. <laughs> wow, what a hand. Take notes, chat. Never keep this pile of garbage. God. Oh my goodness, didn't even... Oh my god, can't make this stuff up, man. You literally witnessed all... Lit... Oh my goodness, man. This is unbelievable. You literally saw every single 6 and 7 drop in this deck right now. On turn 1. Jesus. Wait a moment. I think we'd rather save the Frost Strike for later, so let's just hero power the 2-1. Like, with a hand like this, your goal is to live long enough to actually start using the expensive shits. Yep. Cat tippy taps. Oh god. Mm, yeah, Chill Fallen Baron's fine. The Citadel stands strong. Another one. Congratulations, you discovered yourself. The light dims, but we fire. Reporting for duty. Jokes on you, we have Frigadara in four turns. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> A weapon off the top would be lovely, the one mana weapon. A red sun rising. We could also discover it through Frost Strike, actually. Sag. Big Sag. Not that big a deal, actually. Let's, uh... Hero power into the 2-2. And then trade it with the Chill Fallen. If you discover, if you find a Horn of Winter, you might actually pivot into something different. There's that weapon we were begging for. A turn later, however. Frost Strike a Silver Hand Recruit, I guess. You can check out my back opening video to see how much luck Lucy actually gave me. Let's think a little. This horn is interesting. Howling Blast also makes a lot of sense. But with the horn, we can just kill a 2 2 right now. Next turn, we have School Teacher plus a Noggling. So let's take Horn of Winter and play it. And Bomb Breaker, the Silver Hand Recruit. <laughs> Bruh. Obliterate asphyxiate one time, come on. Let's see it teach. Teach us daddy. Who here can spell Zinjari? What Anybody? bullshittery is this even? No lucky. Sometimes sucky. What the hell man? Take the graveyard shift. We have marrow manipulator, so that's a lot of gas. Whip it out then, kill the 2 2 with your mouth. Yes, a bad hit. This is fine, I think we got this. We have survived long enough to actually go to our late game now. Yep. Okay, he's spending the mana first, then he's gonna poke out Divine Shields. Is that the bright idea? No, he's not poking anything. The little booger. Mm. Cool story, Bob. So, what you want to do here is poke out one one into the five four. I'll re the five four. Kill it with the four four now, so he stops drawing through his divine shits. Mm. 
Noggling and the other reborn Polka Divine Shield themselves. Divine Shield. Yeah, both Divine Shields. And the question is, is that better than Overseer Frigidara? Because we might not have enough time to actually play uh, to search for the second Frost from Fury. That's right. my main concern. Yeah, let's Frigidara here. I think it's better. We can draw a Corn of Winter. Let's consider our possibilities. That's all I'd say. That is all. Because once this guy is off the board, he has a very hard time doing anything against us. And even if he gets back on the board now, we just perma-freeze him. Sadly, you actually dodged the Frost Worm out of that Frigidara, despite our best efforts. Yeah. As one does. Okay, loses the buff like that, equips another one, is it? Cool. No might of many fuel off the top, apparently. But, uh, I'm not sure, should we? We have double Horn of Winter. Double Horn of Winter, you say? My Let's poke out a free one Divine Shield with a 1-1 one, one first. And play a uh, Nerubian Vizier. No, just one. Let's see the Vizier now. The more you struggle, the There's your Asphyxiate. Whip it out. Yeah, play Asphyxiate. Uh, check out another Vizier, I'd say. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Uh, Dark Transformation. Uh, one one kills the free one. Corn of Winter. Hero Power goes face. Transform it and attack, and Corn of Winter uh, free six goes face and Frost Strike the free one last. Attack, rush, and Frost Strike. And the Discover basically RNG take the wheel, but still, the important part is the damage went in. Well, not the worst, at least it wasn't the middle. The, four, the free mana was the best pick there, but yeah, yeah. at least I we still made the, made the pick here. So what we did here is we basically... Uh, dealt with the board without wasting our very big Frostworm Fury, because it is going to be important for us to be able to Frostworm Fury. Yeah, he's going to get some... Because right um, now, if he did this and he still had those shits on freezing, we were as good as done. Yep. As good as Pepsi. He's got two light rays, I think. Probably. Uh, well, he is actually running the Jitterbug, so uh, Jitterbug's a beast, and so is the light ray. Need a bit more spice over hmm. here. He probably has a Murloc in there, uh, mech. Okay, interesting. Yeah, uh, you're definitely doing crazy good with the APM today. You are no stranger to clutch plays. Hmm. Is this a hero power marrow manipulator kind of turn? I think it is. Hero power into the 5-5, five five, so you round it out. And then Marrow Manipulator. Let's see what Jesus has to say here. Clearly unbelievable. 4-2 and 2-4 kill it. And you go face with the Rusticle. Alrighty. And right now, if we actually manage to pick that 4 damage, we had lethal from hand. Oh, yep. Okay, that okay. still looks good. Unless he draws another Light Ray. Can't even kill the free 6 Have exact lethal. Easy. Hey, now you come, bitch. Played a left one to show him we had it all along, but still were absolute gamers to hold it off all this time. Absolute gamers. Yeet. That was a good one. Got him. Got him good. Diamond one, baby. Three more to go. 
Can we do it? Let's do that photo finish. It's the highest I've been in a long time. When Raza Priest was a deck, I was still not legend myself. I still hadn't yeah. achieved that. Nice. I did it like one year after I started playing. Like after the first month, I literally reached uh, rank five. It wasn't even diving back then; it was just rank five. Right. But it took me one more year to actually reach legend myself. Cool. So foul egg for sure. What about the rest of them? I don't think we can keep the rest of them. Tessarian at best, but can we? Yeah, let's foul egg Tessarian. Might be a good turn free play. Okay. <laughs> well, God damn it, what is up with all the four drops, man? No. And it's a bloody, bloody fucking dick. He kept everything, yikes. Marrow manipulator off the top as one does. Who needs a VS meta report when you got me, Shay? Just check out the new top five, bro. Okay, well, I'm just hero power, gain some more corpses. This marrow manipulator ain't gonna feed itself. That is true. Let me let me reduce it. I said, who needs VS meta report when you got me, Shay? Just check out the new top five, bro. Oh, that's not bad. Let's do that then. Yeah, put it on the egg. Yeah, yeah, you can't even kill this anymore, so... It's only space. Absolute banger. Well, that's sad, but... We still connected for free. Interesting, interesting. Should we just Tessarian? Let's see that Tessarian, if it pokes the 2 free, you might even coin out the weapon. So let's see what Tessarian does. Do, hmm. do we do it? I think it's worth, yeah, whip it out. <laughs> Cheru. Okay. If he slaps with the weapon without healing right now, Frost Strike gets to deal with the free free life stealer dudes. If he plays a vampiric suck right now, he does not have the corpses for it, so we got that going for us, which is nice. That is good. Okay. A mole games gangster. Neato. Next turn could be a blood boil turn for him. He's definitely gonna be happy to do it if uh, we have plenty of shits on the board. Right. So uh, let's try to play around it and frost drag the two free. Death calls. Extra might of mana will never hurt nobody. It's my thought. Your face goes into the 2-4, but you hero power and you face face. Oh, do we hero power or should we just chill fall on Baron, honestly? Fuck it, Baron. If he blood boils for free minions, we take those any day. And your face attacks the 2-4, the free free goes face. Favorite deck right now? It's hard for me to really have a favorite deck, but... I don't know, I think I'd still pick Shadow Priest if, if somebody asks me what they want to get coached with, I think I'd still pick Shadow Priest in most cases. It's like a blood so you got a corpse please. explode here? Blood boils? Sure, man. Sure, dude. Oh, that's mildly annoying. He didn't attack with the 2 4? What a gamer. Did he attack with the 2 4? I don't like it. Okay. What do you think you're doing here? 
Anything in Mirror Manipulator. Death. What else are we doing, though? Um. Right now, this Passerian is literally one damage net positive for you, so might as well trade it into a 2-2. Two -two. And if that actually snipes another 1-1, one -one, you have 10 damage to the face. So yeah, trades and Marrow Manipulator, face down. Nice, getting 10 damage out of Marrow Manipulator is a very integral part of winning this matchup. He is going to have a large 5-5 five -five right now, but we have plenty of freezes where that came from, so... Should not be able to attack with the life stealer. Nito. Okay, made the big ass man. Jokes on you, we're into that shit. So here, oh wow, we have freezes forever. But still, yeah, yeah. what we've learned here is Might of Manifield is just better, especially on a slim board like this. Might as well freeze it. We're basically gonna be freezing this 7 7 forever. No, let's arms do our hero power, keep more damage on. It's not like we're looking for anything with a hand like this right now. We have everything we could ever want once. That's true. Sure. Oh no! Anyway. Again? Most probably, but let's still start with school teacher just for the sake of uh, good turn um, sequencing. Icy touch is the obvious pick. Go face with the weapon and might again. Hey, how's it going, Shorzy? Well, that sucks. That sucks big time, because we need to deal with that. And the best way you can deal is Icy Touch plus Frostworm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Icy on it plus Frostworm. And face. Oh, you know, brother man, we had to reveal. People were getting curious. Anybody? Shit. Destiny calls to you. Shit. This is trying to get. Fuzzy. Okay, we actually got Frostborn Fury. So uh, technically you could, I mean, we have Horn of Winter, so you could actually start with School Teacher and still be able to Frostborn Fury if it doesn't pan out for you. So let's ch check if this uh, has an Asphyxiate Obliterate into it. It has no such thing, chat. It has no such thing. What it does have, though, is Defrost, which could be nice soon. Yeah, might as well check the Defrost. You could just noggling right now. Pick me, pick me. Not that we're not gonna frost from fury at this point, because you cannot really risk this vizier anymore. So uh yeah. Horn into seven mana to the face and face. <sighs> okay. You could top deck frost strike, which can have another might of mana deal into it. The Ruby and Vizier can give you yeah. a frost strike as well. Things like that. Yeah, some some serious countess action there, wasn't it? God damn this man. Stop it. Get some help. I will never sure. Never like that anyway. But at this point, how are we winning this? Didn't even kill an undead for us, so now this vizier is not giving us shit. Um, it's probably a loss, but hero power into the noggling and after that vizier. Corpse explosion, you say? Nito, 
Corpse Explosion actually clears everything. Take the Corpse Explosion, go face with the 4-4, and now it's gonna deal exactly 7 damage because you have uh, a couple of dudes that are also dying. So play Corpse Explosion, and uh, I guess play the Harbinger while we still have st uh, stuff to draw with it. That's about it. We're doing everything in our humanly, in our human powers right here, but is it gonna be enough? Shit. Okay. Hero power into the Noggling and check the Vizier. Fuck. Take another Corpse Explosion for later, I think. 4-4 four, four attacks the... 2-1 uh, attacks the 4-4. Four, four. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, give it the sidekick. Reach for the sky. We don't have... We're, our face is actually frozen, so we wouldn't even be able to kill it. So, uh, yeah, 4-1 trades. And just equip the weapon and pass, that's all. Let's take an uphill battle here. Hmm? We've got an uphill battle here. Pretty much, pretty much. It's probably not gonna happen at this point, even if you top deck Fregadara, she's empty. Okay, he makes the trade there, so now Corpse Explosion can get rid of this. Um... Yeah, Hero Power, go face with the minions. Face with the minion. Eternal. Face with and the hero minion. Power. Hero power into the face. Corpse explosion again and put down the foul leg, I guess. At this point, marrow manipulator could help. Should we even attack with the weapon? Attack with the weapon because you have another might of mana fuel in there. Okay. Might have to get it, but we're very far behind. I wonder what the fuck he has in there at this point. Maybe another blood boil or something. Oh, that sucks. Arms dealer, hero power, face, and face trade the 1 1. And just stop healing. Another corpse explosion. Cool. Okay. Cool. Mara Manipulator, where are you, bitch? Okay, this helps. Frost Strike the 1 free. Could get some. If you literally Frost Strike into 2 mana draw cards into Mara Manipulator, exactly. For let's fucking go, I'm calling it. There's the card draw! <laughs> Wait. Almost there. Well, might have meant to feel his mouth. And just hero power face, and we actually have lethal next turn. Let's fucking go. The goddamn oh, marrow manipulator go. at the bottom. Okay, we have lethal from hand. No. Don't you dare. Fuck off. Oh. There you fucking go. Oh yeah. my goodness. Fuck yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> fucking high five right there. Damn, boy. Why are people complaining about Blood DK matchups being hard, man? It's it's so They're fucking so, so fucking easy. Haven't lost against a single Blood DK today, and both games were this fucking easy. Sheesh. <laughs> Damn, boy. That easy. was that was a game right there against the mage. Well, first one was not hard, but it's also a tricky matchup. Ooh. Very tricky.
Okay, we like what we're seeing. I think we keep this man, don't we? I'm not against it. Yeah, let's keep the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that blood DK looked like a final boss indeed. Here we should literally get a guy that concedes on us. Have a good one, Brolin. Perhaps, Shay. I mean, it's been a four hour coaching session already, so I'm literally starving. Uh, all I had today in terms of food was a lousy ass burger from a fast food joint. Like McDonald's has burger, it's also somewhat famous. Okay, this guy's playing the armor vendor. Let me just pull up his deck. And also a couple of pieces of not even cake, like just... What do you even call that? Uh, anyway, I think you equipped the Bone Breaker. But let me just open up his deck and see what we should be worried about. Who runs arms dealers? Uh, armor vendors, I mean. Romath Mage, so he's a Devborn Romath Mage. Yeah, equip the weapon, but maybe we're not attacking. Let's just chill. So yeah, I have uh, I have been adulting really hard today. Adulting hard. Okay. Wait a moment. We have marrow manipulators. Two marrow manipulators is not amazing. It does require us to generate a bunch of corpses. And should we just hero power and double trade this shit? Doesn't feel super amazing, but it's somewhat a value trade and you do get some uh, extra corpse generation like this. So let's do that. Hero power and double trade it. Just write that uh, deck, top legend. Explanation deck. And you're gonna witness my deck. In all of its glory. Okay. That is a very nice Thessarian tempo out on an empty board, but... We could also just arms dealer hero power, is that better? Because, again, we are doing our best to actually generate as much corpses as we possibly can, and this hand is not supporting too much of them. So yeah, Arms Dira, Hero Power Face. If he just used the location on the 1-2, we would be fine with it. I'm blind. Thank you for the follow, Maza. Maza back out. Well, let's see where this trade goes. Kill the 2 2 with your face, hopefully, it goes face. And after that, you play the Syrian so you get more damage to the mouth. Nice, perfect, actually. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Uh, yeah, HS3 play premium is just uh, the best way to get stats right now. Shay always has been, honestly. Ever since it was a thing, it was your best choice always. Next best thing is the Vicious Syndicate report, but if you can... Uh, if you're paying for HS3 play premium, you can basically give yourself HS3, uh, VS reports every time you open it, so... Plenty better. Okay, let's think a little... Is this a nice cool feature indeed? It could be. Yeah, it can be. You could also just hero power into one of these though. Next track you can do a big ass devborn and whatnot. Yeah, I kinda wanna avoid that. Let's uh go face with the one one and then hero power into a two two. So you don't get sniped off without dealing the damage. And let's check what uh, Vizier has to say. Wait, 
Should we have made the trade first? Maybe. Uh, interesting, interesting. I don't even know, man. Sure, take the chromatic metal. And maybe just go face. It's a little bit on the iffy side, but let's just go face and see what happens. Because now he does definitely have a way to get four Devborns, but he's not. Okay, we're happy, I guess. He's gonna deny us a good Marrow Manipulator still, but we're okay with this outcome, I guess. Thing. Let's check a uh, harmonic first, see where it lands, because we're not incredibly enticed to playing any of these exactly right now. Is that worth doing? Wish it landed on the vizier, honestly, but it is what it is. We vizier first. Hmm. Wait a moment. Can't we just? Yeah, okay, let's check the Vizier, sure. The more you struggle, the better. Unholy Frenzy is actually sexy. It gives you extra corpse, so take Unholy. Yeah. I kinda like it, yeah. Uh, go face with the 1-1. One -one. Do we do it? Sure, do it. Uh, like that, and then Harbinger. He's definitely not allowed to just Devborn, so it should be fine. Reality. Okay, Blizzard it is. Cool. Sure. <laughs> what do you think you do here? One hero power, Marrow. Exactly, hero power into one free and coin out the left Marrow Manipulator because it's a very large girl. She's a plus size model right there. Let's fucking go. We like a thick! <laughs> okay. I like my marrow manipulators like I like my cats. Thick! <laughs> okay, second. That was actually discovered, and he's gonna have plenty more where that came from. Even though it looks like we're winning, I'm not sure we're winning. I am not sure we're winning. I'm not sure if it looks like we're winning. Let's start off with a Baron. It might be a... It might be a explosive or objection. Apparently it's not objection. Okay... I'm betting that's an ice barrier. Could be. Hero power to his face. My rule is cool. Good to know. How are we dealing with this crap? I guess 9-9 nine -nine kills the 3-5. Free 3-2 five. Free kills the 1-3. Go face with that, and... Sure, I mean, he can't really play Devborn, can he? What about the Baron? Would be annoying if he has a Devborn for sure. But not that annoying. So far he only has two skeletons in his... Oh my goodness. Please low roll, for the love of god, just low roll once. Acceptable, you can ping down the 7. No solid alibi for the marrow though. He could solid again though. I mean, if he solids again, the 7-1 is not exactly a problem for him. 
That's not what he's holding now. Yeah, he's gonna solid alibi again, bitch. Yeah, Come on, man, good. just ping, see what happens. He's thinking about it. Oh, really? What? Okay, thanks. Wait a moment. How can we maximize our damages while well, we still can? Fuck it. Uh, marrow manipulator. Uh, rowdy fan onto the seven one. Should we even consider double horning a school teacher? Go face with this and double horn a school teacher. Advance, I think. Okay, so what we did here is chip in as much damage before his fucking solid alibis come out, but also go decently wide so we can actually chip down even further through the solid alibi. Yeah. So we have different sources of damage. I think he has double glacial advance, uh, double solid alibi and that crap by the way. Okay, yeah. he gets to not play it, but we have 7 from hand. We have a thumb from hand right now. Doesn't play it, let's fucking go. So what is this? Is this lethal? It's almost enough. What? Now his his uh, his solid alibis is useless. 4... Let's see... It's 9... Yeah, it's exact. Noggling to the face. Frostworm. Hero power and sidekick onto the hero power. Get fucked, idiot! What games, chat? What games? Easiest legend of our lives. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> we really, really pulled some crazy shit today, didn't we? That was awesome, yeah. I am jealous of all the 76 people that got to witness this shit. <laughs> we had some seriously fucked up games today, like some serious action. Love to see it. Nice man, that was that was insane. Diamond Diamond for the legend in three hours on the dot. Unbelievable. Yeah, GG's in chat all around. How's it going for it? That was insanely good. Well, you definitely got your money's worth. That was I did. Crazy, crazy good. Awesome, awesome. Awesome indeed.